everyone I'm back with another video and in this uh, video series I'm going to be talking about the similarities between Python and Ruby and in doing so I'll be using this tool uh, that I built and it's called Py to Ruby you can access it with pytoruby.com and basically it's a one-way translation tool that translates Python code to Ruby code and you might you might find this tool very helpful if you already know Python and you're learning Ruby and maybe for development work like with uh, Ruby on Rails, right? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, standard input and standard output. So we're going to start with output first, right? Every time you learn a new programming language, you want to make the computer say something, right? So you want to print. So in Python, printing is simple. You just you have a print function and you type in the message you want to print. So the default message is always hello world. So let's run that and you get puts hello world. And uh, actually, by default, here we have puts hello world, and notice that parentheses are not necessary in Ruby, but I just place them in there because it doesn't really hurt the code or anything. It just makes it, you know, if you already know Python, it, it helps you adjust. So, actually, in Ruby, there are uh, two other ways to print, and one is the print function. Oops, hello world. Actually, let me make this hello world so you can see the difference. And then, and then the other one is p uh, hello world. So let's see what happens when you uh, take each one of these and run them. So notice, puts hello world does what print does in Python, and it just outputs the text and does it on a new line. And if you call print. It will also do the same thing, but it does not include the new line, which is why this hello world from the third line is printing on the same line as uh, the print statement from before. And notice how with P hello world, you see that there are these two quotation marks. This denotes that the object that you're printing is a string. And with P, it will print and display the object in the manner that uh, you see what type of object it is. And if I, let's say, if I wanted to uh, print an array, so let me get rid of this, and just one, two, three, right? And if I call P over here, and then print, I'm going to make it one, two, three, and then puts, I'll make it one, two, three as well. See what happens if I run it. You see that puts will print everything on a new line, but it iterates through the array and prints each value one by one. So you see one, two, three, one by one. Print will print the array with the uh, brackets to denote that it's an array, but it does not include the new line. And then finally, p does include the new line. So if I flip these. And run it you see that from here it's print I mean P so that it's on a new line and then print you see this over here right it's not on a new line so that's why the design choice I did was if I'm printing a string I will call puts so that you don't see the uh, uh, quotation marks and then for if I'm printing an array or like maybe a, a dictionary, I will include the literals. So it will, I will include these brackets. So just to show you in Python, what we want is hello world one, two, three. So let's try to replicate that in Ruby. And we get hello world one, two, three, both same output. And so that's what PyRuby does. All right, so that's output. And actually in Python, I think most of you are probably familiar with this, but if you want it to print on a, uh, without the new line character, then all you have to do is uh, input another parameter end as a empty character string. So then if I take this and replace it, you now see that they're on the same line. Okay, so that is the output. And uh, let's talk about input. So in Python, input is pretty simple. And the structure is 
you have your input function and within the input function you put in your message so let's call this none and ask the user to pass in an integer or not necessarily an integer but we'll, we'll assume they will pass an integer so please enter a number and then we also want to print that number just to make sure we got it so let's run that and let's just take this go to python run it and our number 55 and we get back 55. in ruby the structure is different um so in python when you uh print this message it's not going to include the new line character as we saw before that's why when i input 55 it's on the same line as the message please enter a number um so that's why we call print here the gets function is what's actually getting the input so gets is the equivalent of input but it doesn't have a message parameter so that's why you must print the message before calling get and this is uh, very common in other programming languages like java c++ so now what is this chunk All right let's find out what this chunk does so let's take this run it put 55 we get 55 because inputs are always processed as a string. So let's get rid of this chomp and see what happens. So I input 55 again and notice it comes with a new line character. Usually when you process an input, you don't want this new line character. So that's what this chomp does. All right, so we got our input number now, but we want it as an integer, right? So what do we do? We can just take num and call an int function and convert it to an integer. What does that look like in Ruby? Well, it's just dot two i, right? And just to make sure that it's an integer, let's print out the type. So the type of four, so to check the type in Python, you just type in type, it's a type function and you pass in the variable. So we print the type and then we change it to an int and we'll print the type again. And let's do that. So Let's go to Python, run it, put it in 55. So the input is a string. And after we changed it to an int and we print out the type, we get int and then 55. So let's copy and paste the Ruby code and check. Let's run it here. Enter number 55 and we get string. We change it to an int, 2i, and then now it's an integer. And then we get 55 without the string literals. So uh, if you wanted to change it to a float instead, you can just type in float. And then you see the Ruby equivalent is dot two F. And yeah, so if you want to check the type, you type in type function in Python, whereas in Ruby, it's a dot class method. Okay. And yeah, that's it for today's video on standard input and output. And yeah. Bye.